okay you can see now that point that I told you when the market open with gap above the resistance this is the resistance right when it's open with gap above the resistance just leave the trade okay so it can go down it can go up like here so it is 50 50 chances and after this candle when you see this opening price just leave the trade if the market open here you can expect a seller's entry here but it open with a gap so we cannot trust and we should wait Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Actually, why this market jump like this? We get a. Yes. I think I. Space. Yes, I think I took uh, this picture from OTC market. OTC market because it is a low volume market and there is no so much trader. It has so many gaps. Okay. So this is common in OTC market. Okay. So we'll always wait for the next candle to start to place the order. You wait for a few seconds before placing it. Sorry, I didn't understand what. Uh, before you place your order, you always wait for the next candle to start. You wait for a few seconds and then you place the order. You never do it like uh, the second 30. Yeah, yes, I I don't. Um, uh, for example, it's it's about to yeah. close, but I don't jump into it. I wait for the opening price. Okay. Always. Almost always, especially in OTC. OTC is it have so many gap. Okay, so the candle can jump easily. So you need to wait for opening price. Okay. Like this, you can see if you open a lower option here exactly when this candle about to close you will lose you can see this candle open here if you open your trade here you can see it will be a big loss but let's suppose sometimes when you wait let's suppose it didn't happen let's suppose this can green candlestick that jump up let's suppose it was a red one starting yes. right after it was born isn't it a possibility to lose the trade so you miss the trade actually you mean you mean the suppose the candle open here and when you want to trade it uh, go down fast right and you yes. get you get a late entry yeah okay so wait wait here when the market go fast you can see in my videos when the market go very fast i wait again it may reject and go up and then we can place our trade in the right entry point okay so if you watch my video sometimes i miss the entry points and i say let's wait market reject and then i will place my trade okay clear yes clear thanks okay okay you're welcome okay i have, I have a question I have yes a question. yes yes uh, here i can draw a horizontal level here uh, this on the top uh, candle uh, and on the here here okay draw here. this this this, this uh, the, uh, at the level spring to pro market uh, reverse then there's a chance up huh. what this is the level right yes this one is the level the level at the level, there is a uh, um, uh, green swing top candle, right? Look like swing top candle. Yes. Then, uh, then, then here I can we can expect, we can expect a, a, green, a, green. a red candle. No, no, red, red not green, green, green candle. Here, here you mean here. Ha huh, huh, huh. Here, here. Because huh. because it's at the level you mean. Ha huh, huh, huh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, at it is level. at the level, but here also we have a strong level. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. It is. It is almost at fifty-fifty chance. So it is not good. Uh, this this trade. Fifty-fifty okay? chance. Right? Yes. Here also we have two levels, so it's better to leave it, and also it open with a gap. Okay. So. Yeah. 
let's go and see what will be the next candle here you can see this candle close here right so here we are seeing a seller's entry point this one right the seller's enter here you can see the market close exactly at the level and sellers enter so this is a resistance level and you can see this candle close exactly at the level with very strong rejection okay so what will be the next candle here lower option lower option why so for the same reason so you draw the resistance level uh and the, the resistance level it's broke yes. by that momentum and the buy the buyers enters back again and also i've seen a trending uh, line as well if you draw from the bottom left here here to here no 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 uh in the bottom in the bottom left this one the engulfing pattern okay yeah this one up to yeah okay so we have two confirmation now so we can go with the buyers yes yes but there is a point it, it was very good thank you there is a point you can see here we just see buyers entry from this line okay we yep. can we cannot see any sellers entry here on this line okay okay so we cannot trust if we have only this line here and we don't have this resistance this horizontal re resistance we cannot trust this trend line okay because we just see the buyers enter from this line okay oh, okay yes so we cannot trust this one if we see a sellers entry from this trend line now we can trust this one easily okay gotcha okay very good okay so but uh i'm sorry i didn't yes. get one of the lines i should trust uh, i got <clears throat> we can trust the trend line but should we trust the horizontal line yes we should trust this horizontal line because we are seeing a seller's entry this is a resistance right we are expecting a seller's entry here so we can trust this horizontal level but this trend line we are seeing buyers entry we cannot expect a sellers entry here okay because the next sorry the next line isn't it stronger than this one shouldn't we wait for the this price one this point? one this one is a strong right but for the buyers we are seeing buyers entry not any sellers entry no, no, I mean this L one I draw here. Oh, this the, one, the yes, yeah. yes. Shouldn't yes. we wait for the price reach that point so we place a put order? Okay, but we have a resistance level already here. Let me show you. Okay, let me clear so, this chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I see. But uh, my point is, is this enough? Is is strong enough to trust you to put a uh, to to place a put order? Yes, because let me tell you the reasons. Okay. Okay, so. The first one that we can trust because you can see it touched this uh, strong resistance. This is a strong, right? Here you can see it touched this resistance and it rejects and close below this level. So this is the first reason that we can trust. The second one, this one, it is also a resistance. The third one, I will explain you the patterns. So no need to worry, I will explain in future class. This is a head and shoulder pattern here some of you may know about this pattern okay so if you put all of this a small thing together you can see we have a strong reason to go with the sellers right yes sir. yes 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 okay. Okay. yes okay clear yes okay. Clear. I mean, 